Ahoj, krásné studentky a krásní studenti. Last week we were talking in this very place about cardinal numbers. And Artemi asked the question about the relationship between cardinal numbers and nouns. Let's talk about this. As you have probably noticed, Czech language has a very complex counting system. And in this process we discover that cardinal numbers will affect noun declension. How this is possible? First, masculine, animated and inanimated. From one to four, the noun will remain in the nominative case. The only thing changing will be the number. I brought some props. There's nothing better than to see things we are talking about. I'm a big uh, fan of concrete stuff. Jeden pan, jeden banan. Dva páni, dva banány. What has changed? It's only the number. Jeden pán, jeden banán, dva páni, dva banány. It's a plural, but we are in the nominative case. Dva páni, dva banány. Ni, ni. Make the difference, okay? Not banány, páni, not banání, páni. No, this is wrong. Dva páni, dva banány. Tři páni, tři banány. Čtyři páni, čtyři banány. We are still in plural nominative. From five to infinite and for zero, we will switch into the plural genitive. I don't know why, but this is the reality. So we had čtyři páni, čtyři banány, and now we will switch to the genitive. Pět pánů, pět Banánů, šest banánů, sedm banánů, osm pánů, milion pánů, nekonečně pánů, nekonečně banánů, nula pánů a nula banánů. It's an academic case. We rarely say bylo tam nula pánů. Na stole je nula banánů. <laughs> Children say this again, but since uh, some of you are asking absolutely impossible questions, well, very difficult, clever, but very difficult for me to answer. <laughs> if ever Artemi asks, you have the answer, Artemi. It's nula banana, nula pan. Let's continue the demonstration. I will now fetch the feminine. A little reminder for feminine and neuter gender. We do not distinguish animate and inanimate. From one to four, what will change again? Only the number. From singular, jedna, to plural. So, jedna mandarinka, it could be jedna žena, jedna holka, and so on. Dvě mandarinky, dvě mandarinky. Tři mandarinky, čtyři mandarinky. And now from five to infinite and zero, we will switch to the poor genitive. Pět mandarinek, šest mandarinek, dvacet tisíc holek, and so on. Genitive. Nula mandarinek. And Neutral, jablko, jedno jablko, dvě jablka, tři jablka, čtyři jablka. From five to infinite and zero, we will switch from the nominative case, pro nominative, to pro genitive. Pět jablek, šest jablek, milion jablek, nekonečně jablek, nula jablek. 
it's strange that for zero we are uh, using the pool. But bylo tam, bylo tam nula jablko. No, impossible. Nula jablek. Jedno jablko, dvě jablka, tři jablka, čtyři jablka, pět jablek. And as you know, a child, dítě, is also a neuter. You must be very careful here with the elongation of the e. You must mark it well. So, jedno dítě, dvě děti, tři děti, čtyři děti, short, i. Pět dětí, šest dětí, tisíc dětí, nula dětí. OK, so it switches to the genitive and for those of you who are not very familiar with accents and elongations, be very mm, pintlich about this, very careful, very accurate about your mm, length of the final E. Mám pět dětí and not mám pět děti. No, this sounds really very uh, stranger and a lazy student. <laughs> no, I'm, it's mean of me. I know it's very difficult and uh, when I learn a language, I uh, have very poor results. So Korean, it's a catastrophe. I don't have a teacher anymore because he just gave up. I imagined a story for him. Uh, two twins, one is named Ron, the other Lon. And so I told him, so how the parents will call them? And he couldn't really figure it out because they have L in the transcription, but it can also become an R. And so the parent couldn't really call these twins because it would be Ron, Ron, Lon, Ron. It, for them it's the same sound, which is very surprising. So just this was the conclusion. And I'm done shooting as well. Here is the tea made from snow wood. And before we part, one sentence to resume it all. For all numbers from five to infinity and for zero, the poor genitive is used where normally we would use the nominative case. Poor or singular for the one. Krásné studentky a krásní studenti, dávejte na sebe pozor, mějte se krásně. And just a final word about the learning. Every time you sit down with your Czech textbook or your Czech material, every time you watch one of Czech videos, mine or someone else's, you are a different person. Think of this, because every tiny, tiny achievement puts you in a different perspective. You are not the same. So think of it like this. Even if you have the impression that you didn't memorize or you won't memorize or this is too complicated. And if you don't get it the first time, you will get it the second time. And it's not about being silly or it's just so alien sometimes that we need to have it told or to read it several times. And it's like a new place. When you arrive in a brand new place, you feel like something is off. But as soon as you get used to this place, Suddenly it feels much better and then after you just this place you make it your own. This will happen with Czech as well. Every time you pause the video or close your textbook, you are someone different. You are a tiny bit higher than you were before. So think of it. Brazina Sredanov.